take all of the astronauts and they put them into a big bucket. So we call it the space buckets. Here's my uh, current space bucket stash. Astronauts on the top, more astronauts in the middle, vehicles on the bottom. Nice tower box designed by Sterilite. ka -ching! And here we went to Tin Toy Arcade for a 22-piece version of the Astronaut Bucket by Daron Industries, unless I be mistaken or surprised by something else. Uh, I have not been able to find a sealed for sale 65 piece SCS Direct, not SDS Direct, big bucket of astronauts. Somebody else has to make them. Price on this was about 18 bucks shipped. Space Exploration Set. 20 pieces. Not quite the bucket, you know, we had when I was a kid, uh, the bucket was actually a bucket. I remember it tapering at the sides as well, and the lid would fit on top, and it would say astronaut bucket or space bucket or something like that. Packaging and the flagship concerns. Daron Worldwide Trading Incorporated. Maybe they've got a 64-piece version. We'll have to go to their website. Uh, well known for low-cost uh, things like space adventure sets. Oh, look at all that good stuff. Woke up last night in the air conditioner shaking with cold and have not felt too well all day. So this was something to stay alive for, even if they sent me another space shuttle for the box of unwelcome space shuttle toy pieces. I have absolutely no use for the space shuttle. And as you look at the back, you see that notch there? That notch would have fit onto the uh, exploding fuel tank. Less I say about this shuttle program, the best. And here we've got a nice play mat for it all to go on. That's a nice one. Ooh. King Fat Toy, how about that? Made in China, Fabrique in China. So confirmed, Hing Fat are the people making these toy sets. And others then repackage them. And I guess that includes our play mat. And awesome, handsome rocket. Uh, somebody pointed out that it's an old Russian model, as a matter of fact. But I've wanted one of these for a while. they got a couple other different versions of them or styles of them from over the years. Depends on, on when you get it. And here is something I've been looking forward to very much, which is the SETS Lunar Module. Lunar Excursion Module derived from the Convair General Dynamics Lunar Module uh, proposal vehicle, 1963 or 1962. Um, never flown. There's something there. China. And I got my decals. I wanted one with the had the decal in place, the uh, previous version I have. Did not. We'll do another exciting video update where I compare the two vehicles. 
specifically fits right into the notches pegs in place and one thing I've been wondering about is that one of my landing pads on the other vehicle is is bent in an angle and I was like are they all going to be like that and these are all you know it feels a little smaller I wonder if it is that'll be an exciting video update we'll take care of it and comparatively meager stash of astronauts you get with it. it still has the same flag and rock base maybe it was to me who first originated it in the early mid 60s um, and our spacemen from the space buckets Ugh. This mark made in China, and it's interesting, it looks like something was scuffed off of whatever mold piece, and I think they're all going to be like that. So, let's see which poses we got. Rope triangle, and this is a, a much waxier plastic than even the more recent copies that I've been able to obtain prior. There's a wrench, I don't know what that, what is it, pliers plier guy, Geiger counter guy, uh, cell phone guy, another cell phone guy, there's a wrench dude, and another rope and triangle, and I guess that's this lunchbox guy, oh he's the one who needs to take a leak, so they sent me three guys that need to take a leak, another Geiger counter, there it is. And then another cell phone guy. $18. Tin Toy Arcade. Here's their logo. TinToyArcade.com. And they got lots of uh, retro, retro, fascinating looking toy sets. Um, it's not the giant big bucket of astronaut things, but then again, I'm glad that they didn't send me the whole confounded space shuttle contraption set with the exploding fuel tanks, and I just hate this thing. But, there we go. We call it the big space buckets, because you take all the astronauts in the lunar module, and you put it all into the big bucket. <laughs>